right. Okay, so um, she's gonna be taking a little nap, but she's my assistant for now. I'm super pumped, you guys, after everything that we saw yesterday. I mean, who is fired up? Um, I am so fired up, I'm so excited. Um, so we are going to, um, sorry, little ones cry. We are going to go ahead and get started because I'm just so excited and I have to um, make sure I'm off of here right at, two um but i'm just so excited so we're gonna dive into literally building our business income producing activities i'm like on fire to share thrive more than ever with anyone and i'm so grateful for our um you know ceos in this business um because it's just incredible and it's life-changing and some of the posture that courtney had yesterday talking on that zoom like i'm i'm gonna take some of that and i'm gonna use it right so um let's jump in because I'm so excited that you guys are here. Congratulations to you for taking this hour to dedicate to your business and just build and share this amazing product that we have. We have our hands on, like she said, gold. And we know that we have something that's going to change people's health and wealth. Um, so just keep that in mind. Keep that fire inside you when you're sending out messages and when you're sharing this with people unapologetically, because that's really um, you know, inspired me yesterday that we have our hands on gold and we know what we have and we know what this is doing for people. And we're just going to share unapologetically, um, you know, this amazing product that we have. So we're going to start off um, with our birthday messages. So again, you can share what you can share what you like to share in the comments of birthday messages. I always like to share um a happy birthday but then i like to ask a question because i if i just say happy birthday i hope you have a great day that doesn't um you know instill um inspire any conversation right and we want to keep this conversation going so make sure you just ask a question you could ask about what their plans are you could look on their page and ask them a question about what they're doing but something that's going to generate conversation is what we have because this business is all about connections and conversations and we want to keep the conversation going by asking questions so i'm going to set the timer we're going to send out our birthday messages if you don't know where those are you can type in the search bar of facebook birthdays and it will come right up so let's get this party started
So if you're just hopping on, we're doing our birthday messages. And if you are done with your birthday messages, um, you can go back to other messages, um, other birthday messages and just comment um, or follow up with people that you've sent birthday messages to from yesterday. Um, but that is what we're doing. We got about like, I don't know, I wanna say four minutes left. Would you guys want to hear a message that I'm sending out? I sent out this message to a, actually a group admin. She runs a group that I'm in. And I just figured I would, this is how I personalized it. So I have a script, scripty message that I send out. Um, but this message, I know her personally, and I'm trying to get better, be more intentional when I message people about their birthdays instead of just kind of sending the same script over and over again. So I said, hey, Amy, happy birthday to you. I hope your day has started off amazing. You deserve the absolute, and I put it all in caps fast, and I'm so grateful for you and the name of the group that, I, that she runs. I know um, we have talked before. You said that you have some autoimmune things going on, and I do too. And I just want to say thank you for sharing that openly because you're such an inspiration. Um, and she shares things all the time in her group daily, so I go, it's such a gift. And I said, and honestly, I, I don't think I've shared this with you yet, but um, I'd love to share a little bit about the Thrive experience. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but because I also have autoimmune disorders, this, this, pro this product has actually helped me have more energy and just feel so much better. Um, it's amazing and it's literally, literally changed my life and I love sharing it. Would you be open to checking it out? It's on me if you, wanna, if you wanna try it. So I want her to look at it first and then say like, sure, I'm gonna check it out, I'll try it. Um, and I said, it's on me if you wanna try it. So that's just one example of a message I sent out that I personalized just for her. Okay, so that was the timer. Um, if you didn't finish, remember to block off another time later. I usually block off time after my kids go to bed um, or when my daughter's during and taking a nap, I block out another 30 minutes to kind of just finish whatever I didn't finish during this working Zoom because I did not get through all my birthday messages and that's okay. Um, so the next thing I wanna jump right into is we're gonna do this for about eight minutes. We're gonna go into stories and 
I was sharing this with other with people yesterday, but um, we're going to go into stories because if you have been doing these working Zooms, I mean, you must have noticed by now some increase in your engagement. If you're doing this every single day, literally this formula, and go back and watch a recorded um, Zoom if you can't make it to like the live one. But if you're doing this every single day, there's no way that you're not going to see an increase in engagement. There's no way. When I when I'm doing this consistently, I see an increase in my engagement big time. I went from like maybe like 10 comments to like 20, 30 plus comments because you're engaging and Facebook likes that you're engaging with all these people by sending messages, by stories, by timeline, and then you're putting a post up. I mean, this this formula is brilliant. So you're go if you're doing this consistently, you definitely are seeing an increase in your engagement. So let's go into stories, non-thriver stories, and we're going to engage and we are going to try to start a conversation with people. That's the whole thing. Like, it's great to do like little hearts and everything, but we're going to start a conversation about something that they put in their stories. Because again, we're all about connecting and creating those conversations that will lead us into, you know, sharing what we love to share with people. Um, so, you know, just start off the conversation. People ask, how do you bring it up? You just have to flow with the conversation naturally. But if you're asking questions every single time they respond, you respond and ask a question and they respond, you know, you keep the conversation going because you're leading the conversation by asking those questions, right? Um, and that's how you keep the conversation going. So let's go ahead and do that for eight minutes and it will bring you right to their messenger, which I love. Oh my gosh, one other thing I want to share on and I promise I'm stop talking. I try to limit my talking. If you don't have a story up um, or anything in your stories right now, you should definitely put something in your stories and um, follow people, you know, even from this team that are six, that are having success. I know Kelly is super consistent about putting stories up about Thrive every single day and I'm trying to get better at doing that. So if you want to check our stories, I put one up today that I'm really excited about. My goal is to have something Thrive related in my stories, a story or something every single day to pique that curiosity because Courtney Glazer, she does this and she, her PPA is, oh, whoopsie. Her PPA is um, like off the chain. It's, it's incredible. So every single day you want to be sharing consistently in your stories, something that's going to pull people to want to start the Thrive Experience because we have our hands on something amazing. So engage in stories, but also if you don't have a story up, definitely put one up. We have an album in United We Thrive where you can pull something from there and then tweak it to make it your own. Um, but definitely have something in stories and leverage those poll features because it makes for a natural follow-up with people when they vote on your poll or engage with your stories. So I gotta, I gotta shout out Kelly because I'm going through her stories right now because I love your stories. She has some such great ideas, you guys, of how she's talking about different ways about how she talks about the business and how she um, helps people live a healthier lifestyle. So her story, she did a curiosity, like when, almost like with curiosity, she had her DFT on and she goes, I'm not a personal trainer or a nutritionist, but I'm part of a business helping women live a healthier lifestyle. I mean, like that would totally speak to me. 
Like, you know what I mean? And then she has a sequence um, where she talks about her college degree um, and educating people on the importance of filling nutritional gaps. Such a good story. So, you know, just get ideas and inspiration and make it your own. But it's like, you know, just having she does, and she's so consistent. That's what I love. So um, you're gonna totally see. Um, yeah, like I take, I actually take people's and then I tweak it and then I put some different images on there um, too because then you're making it your own. But I, I love that. And um, the more consistent you are in your stories and pulling people in and messaging people, the more um, you're gonna see those orders coming in or people asking you what you're doing. Because it's easier to be a little bit more bold in your stories too because it's so private. Okay, so we are done with stories. If you haven't finished getting something in your stories, definitely go back to that, that's huge. And we have so many amazing, um, brilliant people on this team. So definitely share, um, you know, and work with each other. And, you know, obviously like if you see something that you like on my um, stories, feel free to grab it and, you know, edit it um, too. This is an awesome, abundant team that we have. Um, same with posts. So we're gonna go into, um, 
um, we're going to go into posting on other people's timelines, non-thrivers, and engaging with them. And so good people to go to would be your samplers to love on them, your current customers to love on them, and definitely people that you have on your prospecting list for customers that you're like, these people need this, um, and people that are on your like dream team list. Like we need to get those people on Thrive and start thriving so that they can have their own story to love it. But first we have to get that connection going and then bring that to a conversation. So we're gonna, you know, those are the people that I want you to focus on. Definitely your samplers. Um, you know, loving on them so that it's not every time you go to message them, it's all about Thrive. So you are engaging with them and then um, prospects, of course. So we're going to do this for another like eight minutes or so. And then we're going to create a post after this if you haven't already done so um, for our for our own timeline, because then we're going to get some good engagement on our post since we've just gone through this. Um, so let's do that for about eight minutes.
Okay. So that was our timer for engaging on other people's posts and timelines. So now we're going to take 10 minutes to, um, to share a post. So um, if you have already done your post, obviously you don't want to post right again. Um, you want to space them out like four to six hours, or if your post is going really well and you have a lot of comments cranking on that, I would say let that ride. Um, but if you haven't created a post or you want to create one for tomorrow just to get ahead of the game, um, I'm going to share a post actually that Sharon did. She has quite a few, um, more than quite a few comments on it. It was about coffee. Um, and it was, so Sharon's new, she just started with us, um, recently. And so she did a really awesome post and she's doing, she does a great job of like following through on her posts. So the other piece obviously of posting is we have to make sure. And sometimes I have to remind myself and put, um, like for later on tonight to go back to that post that has comments and make sure I comment on everyone's comments, but also to kind of try to get them in a conversation into messenger. Um, because in, and the same thing with polls, when you have a story, it's no good to you unless you follow up on that story. If you forget about going back to the poll and looking at who saw your stories and looking at who voted, then it's, you're putting in the work, but you're not, you're not collecting on the work that you did because you're not following up and there's no follow through. So follow through is important. This is just a piece of the puzzle, but you need to go back later on tonight and check on those people and check on those posts to see who's loving on that and keep the engagement going. And by commenting, on maybe half of the comments that you get tonight and then tomorrow morning commenting on the other half, it's gonna keep boosting your post up because you're gonna continually be getting comments and replying to those comments. So she shared a post about um, coffee and I kind of mimicked that post this morning because I loved it so much. So she said, tell me like how many cups of coffee you drink um, a day and why? And she has like over 65 comments. And now she's like, oh my gosh, how do I respond? So we're trying to pull all these people into Messenger. Um, but I love that she added and why, because I really think that's an important reason to know why people are drinking coffee. Are they drinking it because they love the taste or are they drinking it because they desperately need that IV of caffeine running through their veins, right? And so now she's going to be able to go back and comment and kind of start a little bit of a conversation and maybe even joke around with these people in the comments and then pull them into Messenger, being like, oh my gosh, well, my friend Kristen, because she's going to connect them with me. Oh my gosh, my friend Kristen used to be addicted to coffee. She has three kids and she was drinking five or six cups a day. And um, she thought that she would never kick that caffeine habit. Um, and despite all of that caffeine that she was drinking, she was still feeling tired. You're not going to believe what she found that actually has her not needing um, those five to six cups of coffee every day, right? And she's going to pull them into a, a messenger chat with me. So just simple things like that, that you can like leverage. Um, another idea just to give you an idea, and then I'll let you like run wild with this, um, to create a post, but like, um, you know, thinking about Beth had this idea that she shared with Sharon too, that was like something about your boss. Like if you're trying to think business wise, like um, you could say something like, um, how many of you, what would you, what would you give? You could do like a funny post. What would you give to, what would you give or what would you love to do or um, to, to fire your boss? Or what's the worst boss you ever had? Or how many of you like working for a boss or wish you could fire your boss? Something like that um, to get people commenting because then people are, we know that people are looking for a way out, right? Um, so just some, just some thoughts and sometimes doing a post without a picture and just like those big letters gets way more attention um, than a post with a picture. So just, just something to think about, get your wheels turning. Um, you know, obviously if you posted something similar yesterday, we want to kind of switch it up and make sure we're, we're showing ourselves too, um, and showing our, uh, like getting people to know, like, and trust us. But I just wanted to give you a few ideas of what to post. And of course, if you don't finish in this, um, next 10 minutes, then you can totally work, continue working on it. And, um, one of the things that Kelly and I had said, when I, when I see people, other people's posts, I screenshot it. I'm like, oh, that's a good post. I can tweak it and make it mine for later and put it in like a residuals board of like posts, like a bank of posts. Um, so yeah, so there, there's just some ideas for you guys. Um, but remember again, this is an important piece, but the most important part is tonight you go back and you follow up with people that are commenting on your posts and in your stories. Gonna add one more thing, sorry.
Um, I don't know if you guys know, but you can. I had someone the other day be like, oh my gosh, well, once my story is gone, it's gone and I can't see who voted, who, who voted on it. You can go back both in Instagram and Facebook and see your story archive. So you can go back if you like missed the boat and the story went away after 24 hours, you know, like I completely flaked, I forgot to follow up with that story. There is um, from your phone, three little dots for Facebook. You can see your story archive and go back to some recent stories that you've done and see who voted on them. So you didn't miss out on um, following up with them. Same with Instagram.
Okay, so we are going to do our last activity and I'm gonna make it 12 minutes long. This will allow us to hop off um, like one or two minutes early and then I'm gonna hop right back onto another Zoom. <laughs> um, so now that you have your post created um, and we've done, we've done all this engagement, the last thing that we're going to do is connect in some groups. So, um, you know, this is just, I really think connecting in groups is a skill. You need to find out what groups you can add value to and what groups you're comfortable sharing in. And don't go in there with the mindset of who can I get? Go in the mind, go in there with the mindset of I'm going to make a connection with this group of people. And so I have a couple of groups that I love to go into. And those are the groups that I share in. They're not necessarily like you know, um, entrepreneur groups where I'm going to like recruit a ton of people. It's just a group that I know that I can connect with people. And I have, and I feel really comfortable. Like I like the, the vibe in the group. I like the community. Um, so we're going to take the last 12 minutes to go into a couple of groups and just engage in the group, share something of value, do a market research post or um, find a post in the group that you really like and just interact and add some value in the groups. Um, I recommend doing two groups just so you don't get too overwhelmed to start. Um, go in there and engage, connect with people. This is how you're going to really make a connection with other women and then eventually you're, or men, you know, um, and then eventually you're going to um, end up having conversations with them and they're going to go to your profile. They're going to check out your profile page. You have this bomb profile page that you're being super consistent on. You have an awesome picture of you. You're sharing about your Thrive experience. You're sharing about how you're helping others. You're sharing about this amazing tribe, like all these different things. And they're going to be like, wow, Beth is someone so interesting that I want to connect with because they, they always do a little Facebook stock, right? go check out your profile before they want to connect with you. But if you're showing up consistently in groups and people are recognizing your name as adding someone adding value and you get that little conversation starter badge next to your name, people are going to be checking you out and want to connect with you and be friends with you. So that's the mindset that we're going with. Um, and that's what I think Courtney Glazer does really well is she connects with a lot of people in groups and she has content that pulls them in, but she's constantly adding value and showing up on those in those groups. So let's go ahead and do that for about 12 minutes. And then we're going to call it a day and you can block off another time later to just do all your follow ups.
I'm going to share um, a comment that I just made in um, a group. It's in a, um, a teacher's group that I'm in because I used to be a teacher. Um, and the girl said, um, which is my favorite when people post this, oops, um, is any any remote new remote making money opportunities that have arisen from all of this. Not sure if summer school is going to happen. Um, so this is a little bit older, but it was brought to the top. Um, not looking for MLMs. I'm open to sales, but not if it's MLME at all, which is my favorite. Um, it has to be legit, right? So we all know that this is legit, but I share on these posts anyways, just for fun because you never know who's reading the comments. And so I just said, um, oh my gosh, Micah, I'm in the same boat. I don't think regular school is happening for us and I'm not a contracted salary teacher. So I'm like, ah, but I have been able to make a legit, because I wanted to use some words from her post, legit and sustainable income from home, sharing health and wellness. And the cool thing is, is that so many others are making significant incomes at home with this because the products work and, the, and there's a system in place and you just share, you, you just share the experience of the product. No startup costs, no fee to join, and no overhead. It's been so much fun too. Everyone is looking to have better health now with the shift, with the mindset shift um, that's happening with this pandemic. So that's just gonna that give you an idea um, because I guarantee that someone, someone in the comments is gonna read the comments. You know how people love to read comments, right? For fun, get the drama started. Um, and so someone's gonna read that and be like, oh my gosh, what is that? right? Because everyone else is posting, I'm with Beauty Counter, join my team, blah, blah, blah. Here's my link for Rodan and Fields. And no one wants that because you're not standing out because everyone's sharing a link. So, um, so I just wanted to share that that's the post that I made. If you want, I can read it one more time. Um, but I just, the person that posted, and there's like 75 comments on this, you guys. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in the same boat. I don't think that regular school, because she's talking about summer school, but we're past that now. Regular school isn't going to be happening for us. And I'm not a salary teacher. So when I heard this, I was like, ah, and I did like mind blown emoji, but I have been able to make a legit sustainable income from home sharing health and wellness. And the cool thing is, is that many others are making significant sustainable incomes at home with this, pro with this too, because the product actually works. And all I have to do is share the experiences of other people and their results, and there's a system in place. Uh, no startup costs, no fee to join, and no overhead. It's been so much fun too, and everyone is looking to have better health now with this mindset shift caused by the pandemic. So just um, just a thought if you wanted something to, an idea of what to post in a, a comment. This isn't a comment of a group. I was just kind of reading the comment the other posts, other people's posts, and that's what I commented. And that's how I get a lot of um, people being like, oh, what is it? Tell me more, you know, underneath my comment for those comment readers, right?
Okay. Um, I posted, grab that comment if you want to copy it from the um, chat box. Sharon asked me to share it and I figured out how to do it because I'm doing all this on my phone um, and I'm working with you guys on the computer. But I did share my comment that I just read to you guys in the chat box. So before we hop off here, because I'm going to hop off in like 30 seconds to go on to another Zoom, um, you can grab that just so because um, when I upload the recording, the comments obviously or the chat box doesn't stay. So. Make sure you grab that if you want to use it and then you can edit it and tweak it and make it your own. Um, and and yeah, if you guys have any other questions before we hop off, but I'm just so excited. Hold on to this excitement from the awesome mastermind that we had you guys and just run like with your hair on fire sharing unapologetically because I don't know about you, but I'm fired up after that paycheck that I got and um, you know, all the, all the amazing tools and the tips that we heard and this mastermind training is just going to be like on fire and these new products coming out. We want to make sure that we have momentum on our side. And if we're doing this every single day, working in our business every single day, there's no way we're not going to see movement. Right. So I'm so excited and I hope you guys have an amazing day and go crush it. Okay. Um, so I'm going to hop off here to hop onto another zoom, but you guys are all incredible and just, um, just keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing because you're amazing. All right. Thanks guys for showing up. Bye.